looked over there, and he got distracted, and he saw a, a raccoon coming our way. Robert Cogasol's playtime with his dogs was interrupted by a feisty and sick raccoon last week. I got the dogs back in the house. The raccoon falls us right to the front door. Once inside, Robert, a wildlife photographer, grabbed his camera to document what he called extremely strange behavior. He would stand up on his hind legs, and that, which I'd never seen a raccoon do before, and he would uh, show his teeth, and then he would fall over backwards and go into almost like a comatose uh, c condition. Robert attempted to scare the raccoon away, only to find the animal was not interested in leaving. He'd come out of it, walk around, and then he'd do the same thing again. Youngstown police were called to 14 similar situations in the past three weeks. Reports detailing particular behavior and large noises or motions not scaring the animals away. The majority of the calls happened in the daytime, too. And raccoons are nocturnal. Those animals, including the one in Robert's yard, were ultimately euthanized. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources tells me it doesn't sound like rabies but rather a disease called distemper. Raccoons are really uh, prone to getting several different diseases uh, that uh, even amongst themselves can be devastating uh, to the population. Jeff says diseases like this stay local and eventually die off. When you end up with a, just a couple individuals left uh, that aren't as susceptible to it, then uh, the disease kind of dies out for a while until you know the populations grow again.